your ethically sourced material and the left over scraps of that is being now mindfully crafted into beautiful designs that are contemporary, that are versatile. That are Hi, I'm Urvashi Kaur and I'm the founder and creative director of uh, my brand Urvashi Kaur. I think what I would like to begin with as most Indians, I think it's culturally embedded in us. My childhood really shaped who I am today, what I do and how I do it. Born to parents where my dad was in the army, my mother was an artist, I was exposed to a very interesting world. So the army taught me to be respectful of nature and our country and we have a role to do which was to protect, so they were there, but they would leave no print when they would leave those places. And they would care for the animals and the wildlife around, whereas for me, and my parents and the way we were brought up, it was about what we needed, what we had available to us as resources and how could we continue to take that forward and make it our own. So culturally, we are that. The major hurdles that we as a brand faced um, was and I think largely is to raise awareness and to educate um, people of their choices and their actions and also the power that they hold to actually bring about change. Fast fashion has led to a huge shift in understanding. Sustainability is a large word which is very difficult to even pin down and now almost sounds like a cliche or a bad word, I would say. So, you know, it's about, I mean, ultimately when you come down to it, you know, you say sustenance. The natural orders of the world where we are mindful of everyone that cohabits this world and being mindful of that raising making people understand the impact of every action and decision or the lack of so i think educating right at the not just at the grassroot level but also from the moment that the child is born our past practices of Indian homes, of recycle, rewear, reuse, hand-me-downs, thrifting, swapping, um, uh, you know, uh, sharing, living in a community, all of that is to be, I think, we need to rethink of newer ways to live in a different world order where we may not be in these communities, but we can build communities, even if they don't look like grandparents, parents and children, it could be friends and like-minded people. So I think education from all quarters and stakeholders that really, you know, take up the, um, the, the, the responsibility of doing that and teaching each other, I think, is one of the greatest um, needs and hurdles in sustainability and for So um, humans and um, culturally, our Indian cultural ways of living. And uh, finally, of course, uh, the one person that is most, among many, but the one person that has most Im impacted my work and my uh, practice is, you know, Gandhiji and the his, his philosophy and his way of being and, and, and what he was able to show us which is a lesson for us to learn 
and hearing stories from my nani when they were you know when when they were fighting all together for a collective purpose a collective goal to free india and in that they chose the most symbolic tool to bring that that voice that 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 uh, medium was a single thread that was woven and spun whether it was in that or it was in creating your salt yourself and telling the world that we are self reliant and that self reliance comes through collaboration and community and everybody took to that as their calling and their need to support that cause and gave up all the excesses that they had so my nani telling me that they let go and they burnt their of course i would not say burn your clothes anymore <laughs> you don't want to do that but you know symbolically they 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 were ready to let go of possessions that were symbolic of the raj and and the rulers and and did not support indigenous artisanal communities so the gandhian philosophy and way of being is what we should all practice as you know that should be our mantra and our goal just a small example of how personally in my life um you know i'm guided by this um i have three children my oldest being 23 years old when she was born i created a crib i made a crib um got it crafted by a carpenter and uh, i said uh, you know I put my design twist to it and then once she no longer needed it in a couple of years i was then thinking what to do and uh, you know um i was graced by another child and i used it for him and then my um sister-in-law had a child and i sent the crib to her and then it traveled it was called the traveling crib it still is traveling somewhere uh it's been 23 years and i think i don't even know how many children have made use of it in how many households but the space that we occupy what does this space mean to us what are we giving beyond creating a transaction between somebody that walks in with a need well they don't really need that many clothes so i tell them stop buying don't buy for the next two months or buy only mindfully with brands that are creating consciously and if you are instead of buying 100 things buy five things and wear them 100 times as the world experiences unprecedented um environmental challenges and our world as we know is impacted by climate change and just the depletion of our resources and how we experience the world today than our previous generations is enough reasons and alarming enough for us to take heed now and to act together we cannot leave it for anyone else there'll be nothing left every technology every industry should invite young creative thinkers to innovate to come up and so yes we do need the science we do need a like collaboration in every space where we really think how can we not cause any further harm and how can we continue to innovate and minimize our footprint Uh, uh, great um, way to collaborate and to really um, be mindful of your waste, of the waste that you generate, 
and where it gets you know landed so pushing towards circular design and uh, circularity in a way that nothing is in excess of um, and to also reuse all your waste and craft it with collaboration with uh, textile innovators like Paiwans that reweave any material um, and in this case your ethically sourced material and the left over scraps of that is being now mindfully crafted into beautiful designs that are contemporary, that are versatile, that are um, uh, timeless. Uh, and I feel um, it's, it's to show a way forward to other um, accessory brands um, to minimize their footprint and to um, build a newer language of design which involves collaboration with many more people and um, I think this is very um, the reason I am talking here with you on your platforms is because it is very, um, it resonates with who we are as a brand and uh, what OCD is doing um, and what Paiwand is doing. We are all problem solvers within our own mediums of craft and design and pushing the new alternative. The only option, not as before where, you know, when the brand Urvashi Kaur began, it was about, you know, taking a new, um, it was a new take on luxury and ethical and conscious um, crafting, but Today, it is not a luxury, but a need to sustain. It's the only way we are going to sustain. And um, if we can be the first amongst the first to collaborate and show that we can change our designs and innovate within that and be conscious of our ecological, social um, impact um, and build to move towards a circular economy. I think that is the future. So I congratulate um, your founders. I congratulate your designers. I congratulate Paiwand for providing solutions and, um, you know, for um, for doing what you're doing and I wish you all the best.